All right, uh, I am back from picking up my box of trash. I've been actually back for about an hour. Went and had some uh, breakfast. Just out. Had some uh, fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. So it's one o'clock, thirty-six degrees. It's a little chilly. Uh, computer guy's texting me. All right, so he's on his way to grab these, um, and that will get our little uh, deal starting in the works. So he can take these, do what he got to do, and we'll weigh them up, and I'll just write the weight down, and we'll go from there. So we can get that little thing going. So the place I got the box from had a couple printers and two oldies. So that was a bonus. This one don't even have a disk drive or a hard drive or a, you know, one of them. What do I know? I'm just a scrapper. All that has is a disk drive in it. No CD-ROM. So Gateway, Nova, three printers, uh, two keyboards. So this will stay on the truck, the shred. Keyboards, I'll just cut the wire off. Those can go as shred. Those two can go in the garage. <coughs> uh, then after my computer guy leaves, I want to tarp all this up. I had to go through this here. Um, tote and pull all the telecom out of here. Because <coughs> I don't know what I was thinking. <coughs> this is a uh, high, uh, high peripheral. But uh, some of this is going to be telecom. So... We'll uh, dig through that. Thank God it's only uh Oh, actually, you know what? <clears throat> it's two totes. I'm going to have to go through that one, too. So, there be a lot of telecom in there. <clears throat> uh, my absolute favorite best friend in the whole world, Chris at Boardsort, um, got back with me on a couple boards I sent her pictures of, <clears throat> which was these, which come from the place I get that box from. So, hopefully, there's some more in there. Um, and then when I was showing those, uh, finger cards, um, he confirmed that these here will also be high telecom, so, you know, if you get any boards that look like that, with the fingers on it, but they're highly populated, so, those will all be, uh, telecom, which is basically all this mess right here, right here, right here, right here, not that one, that can go over there. So those can go to the telecom pile. So two something a pound. If they were, if I had it for a high peripheral, they go to six dollars a pound. So there you go. Fill that up. Uh, I got some brown gravy. If y'all want some brown gravy, it's a little chunky though. So I don't know how you dissolve these. So here's another one of them boards here. There's a couple in there yet. So, yeah, got a lot of those. Um, and then I got the box. I already unloaded it. Now, this wire was the wire that was over there. I'm just trying to get some of this stuff inside before the weather hits tonight, tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I need to get a whole lot more of that stuff. It's number two, but it's thick. And our buddy Roger at CU Scrapping got him an awesome Gaylord box full of copper to strip. So... Roger, very, very happy for you, buddy. You've been on a uh, a rough ride there for a while, so hopefully that um, hit you got with the Gaylord boxes will get you back up and running. Just on top of there. And uh, get you back going just the right way. So, I got this one here to strip, too. So, this is a nice heavy trap. So, this is what happens when I go to the scrapyard. That was all in the 45% copper box because so many guys just throw all the wire in there, they don't give a shit. So, you know, my yard manager, as I say, he's cool. He gave me that for <coughs> um, 87 or 90 cents a pound is what I paid for all this because they, they sell it to me for what they buy it for. So, I ain't losing nothing. So, this is where I'm at with this box. I don't know what's in here. Haven't really dug through it. Um... Look at all that mess. So this is this will all go as a uh, just a mid-grade board. 
I'm not taking those damn things off of there. But I did find out. Oh, let me find one here now. Here's another one of them. These are pretty heavy. So I got the, the ah, what these are called. These are called power modules. Got it straight from the horse's mouth. So now we all know because nobody knew. I didn't really care what they were called, but I did it for you guys. <coughs> There's some more metal. This stuff's heavy too. There's some more metal there. Got a fan in there. Fan fell out. Oh no, it didn't just cover. So, yeah, you never know with the, I guess, this company here, what you're going to get. They get a lot of nice boards like that. And that's another one, you know. Is that, that's probably a telecom if I pull that motor off of there. There's another beautiful one. Beautiful. So if that's what the beginning looks like, it might be a good box on in the end. That's just a mid-grade. Mid There's another nice one. <coughs> Capacitor alley with two fuses. I got a bunch of those fuses. I have no idea what to do with. No idea. Um, I don't complain about the metal because this is all free. So I don't... Uh, Ooh, I think I found the problem. <clears throat> so I don't really complain about the uh, metal and stuff. It's all free. This whole thing is profit. It's minus what uh, whatever fuel it costs me. So there's a backplane board. We'll take that off and then put that other board where it belongs. Another nice high towel. Plastic or shred. It's more nice heavy metal. And shred prices here are at eight cents a pound, so that's pretty good. Here's another pound of uh, copper. Those are close to about a half a pound a piece. <coughs> There's a pound and a half on that one. Sir, that's what I like. That's what I like to see. A lot of metal. I'll just dig in here a little bit, see if I can find any goodies. Here's another one. So. Yeah, can't beat it if it's when it's free. Look at that, that's a pretty finger covered right there. Take that battery off of there. <coughs> Sometimes I get a ram and stuff on the bottom. And, uh, some of the boards, um, sometimes they'll have the nice ceramic CPUs in them. And, but see, this is the kind of stuff that they, they do. Siemens. I'm not sure what this is. Needs reprogram, but they do, uh, you know, take like little components out of them that can be reused. Motion detector, <laughs> that's a scrap it all fantasy right there. Good job! So, yeah, I seen a uh, some guy named uh, Eway's Mike who. I heard it was nothing but a big jerk. Um, got scrap it all, a nice set of a wire cutter. So I guess you can't be that big of a jerk, huh? That's what I would say. I don't know. So hopefully he enjoys them and uh, gets some uh, 
good wear and tear out of them, that's for sure. Um, the pair I have, I screwed up. So I'm going to give you a little hint. Do not cut a live power wire with those. Because <laughs> it'll put a big arc and a hole in them. And then they're no good. I don't know where mine's at. I'll show you. Oh, Lord. Oh. That's not the drawer. I don't know where. I have no idea where I put them. They're in, they're in one of these drawers. Anybody need some hacksaw blades? I got a gazillion of them. Do, 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 do. Maybe I threw them away. I have no idea. What I do with them. But yeah, I cut a freaking uh, hot wire. Hot wire. And I arced them bad boys. And I arced them good. All these tools for what? Brand new stuff, never used. Ugh. I don't know what I do with them. Huh, I don't know. I don't know. So my uh Computer guy said it'd be he's leaving his house in about 20 minutes, so I'd be here about a half hour or so. I gotta get this stuff moved around. Hopefully, I can find some more of these here little boxes for uh, scrap it all. I'm gonna send him all those. He can sit there and tinker with them. The pins are actually copper in them; they just pull right out. But I ain't got time to be pulling some pins. There you go. That's a transformer just hanging out. I'm gonna get a hatchet though. I'm gonna try the hatchet trick. Think, think nice junk will send me a hatchet? Probably not. Got some crappy stickers on it. I wonder what kind of board's in there. Ooh, that looks like an interesting board. Huh. So. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I'm just, I gotta move up. Few things before he gets here. Um, that's a really nice board there. Um, and then get uh, back going. There's another nice copper PC on there. Copper PC, not PC, PC. It's the same but different. And I dug a hole. That's a lot of just stuff for just uh, one little corner, huh? Oh, here's some more of these. Oh. One of my favorites. So, what's this? Monotube, monotube laser marketing machine. Oh, that's broke. They have like a big warehouse full of stuff that they just take parts out and throw the rest away graphic operation terminal is that a six got 1000 Mitsubishi electric so I supply master marking home position I don't know I have to take that apart so I appreciate y'all. Stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm going to get those two computers out of there. Get this tarped up. Get that covered back up. That has to be charged. And uh, get this little bit of stuff moved out. Get my scale hooked up um, so we can weigh this stuff and get this out of my way. And I'm going to go back to finishing that tote. And I'm going to go back to finishing that tote. And then those will be done. And I might even go and start sorting this tub here. Or this wheelie bin here that's uh, full. That I have to category yet. So, 
I will talk to you all later. Um, no live stream today. No live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow I got that court crap. So, uh, probably won't be able to do a live stream till I don't know, maybe Friday. If not, it'll be Monday. I'm debating whether to go to the scrapyard Friday or Monday. It just depends um, on what I get done. So, I want to get that stuff loaded up. I want to cut those uh, that ductwork, that big ductwork. I'm going to cut that in half so I can handle it. Um, that's actually kind of heavy. <coughs> uh, me and uh, another guy unloaded that stuff. And I want to get this washer taken apart, check the motor on that. Get the furnace done. And I want to get these towers done and get all that shred out of here. Um, so it'd probably be a shred run Monday. So, and, oh, and I had to go to the bank tomorrow because I had a charge on my credit card for Outback Steakhouse, and I don't go to restaurants, so I don't know where that came from. So they killed my debit card, so now I have to wait, you know, three to five days for a debit card, um, or make an appointment at the bank, and I can go get a card there. But you have to deal with the banker, and you can't deal with the teller. So, always some crap. So, hopefully they don't want no money tomorrow at court because I don't have a card. <laughs> so, I will talk to y'all later. Appreciate y'all. Later.